glimpses of Saldana Bey's vision and mission is captured in our epic vision poem of 40 stanzas, 40 verses capturing our intention. We read our statement of vision with the awareness that once we say this is what we want to do, this is who we are, we are at the same time saying this is what we fail to be. Hi, my name is Ukanya Maki. We, the young people of the Diocese of Sardana Bay, are not afraid to dream and turn our dreams into actions. We are bearing our ancient name, People of the Way. We walk through the 800 kilometers in which we live united and aware of our neighbors who may live in miles from us, from Pylons to Port Nolov. We are young, not only in mind and spirit, but young in demographics. And so we are a church in which the young kicks off their shoes and feel completely at home, where they are both seen and heard in sanctuaries and in our leadership. Hi, my name is Wai Aula, and I am from the Makoland Noord. Ons, the young mensen van die Sultana by Pistom, is nie bang om te droom of om ons drome en dade te omskep nie. Ons is jong, nie net in gees en verstand nie, maar jong in demografie. Ons behoort aan een kerk waar die geleentheid geskep word vir ons om gemakkelijk te wees, ons skoene uit te skop en ons uit te leef in ons leierskap Ons word die geleentheid gege om leiding te neem. Ons word aangemoedig om in alle kleure en klanke ons eie te wees. Out of our myriad of um, vision and things we want to do, we have drawn three apex priorities. And these are the youth, social development and church planting. And we have further broken this down to three words of action, of wanting to grow deeper, of wanting to grow wider, and wanting to grow younger. In each of these, we want to grow deeper in our theological, scriptural, philosophical understanding to contextualize the call that scripture makes in each of these apex ministries. So there is a short-term goal, a medium-term goal, and a long-term goal of becoming theologically literate to be able to be a diocese consisting of all our people who apply their minds prayerfully and carefully and having been taught by the body of the clergy and the laity to um, be theological in their application. A new dawn has come for young people within the Diocese of Saldana Bay when we relaunched the Young People's Ministry. More than 600 young people from all corners of the diocese attended a vibrant and spiritual service. Our mission is to create a voice for young people to be heard and to hold their voices as distinct. Our way forward is to have a diocesan roadshow by the EXCO members where we will go to all corners of the diocese to go and listen to the hearts, the joys, the fears, the longings of our young people. To develop a draft ministerial plan of action, to create a virtual database of all young people within our diocese, and also to launch a youth academy where our youth are empowered for youth ministry to work hand in hand on various approaches of giving and fundraising strategies to ensure the sustainability of youth ministry. We'd also like to launch a youth festival to celebrate being young. And lastly, to host our second diocesan youth synod in 2024. I'm going to quote to you some sections from our diocesan vision statement that shapes and molds our conversations with regards to socio-economic Planning. We are the people of the Diocese of Saldana Bay. 
We walk with our shovels, fishing nets, grapevines, industrial tools through walls of literature and fields of toil. With our Bibles, prayer books, psalters and hymns, ever journeying, never those who have arrived. These extracts from our Austin Vision statement very clearly illustrates the vastness and all-encompassing diversity of our diocese. And in saying this, it also illustrates our strengths and our hurdles we contend with in both pastoral and fiscal ministry alike. Our leadership is vibrant and visible, facilitators of authentic in Daba conversation, a leadership that convenes with integrity and connects people, holding each person's voice as distinct. A leadership at parish level, in homes and youth groups, in archdeaconries and vestries, that consults and listens to the will and whispers of God for in every part of God's vineyard. And in these structures, we see our unwavering commitment to all forms of equality, but especially to that of gender and age. We depend on our commitment to our leaders at parish level, as they are the wheels that make our diocese move forward, both pastorally and fiscally as a diocese, taking inspiration from our vision statement, we have registered a social development arm, the Diocese of Soldano Bay's Social Development Department. Our primary business is ministry. For this reason, the Ministry of Business must unquestionably support the primary business of ministry. This is our vision, God's vision in us. And knowing that we can do nothing without God, we throw ourselves daily upon God's grace and delight in the knowledge that God chooses to work through the ordinary ones, the faithful and open-hearted who hear the voice of every calling. It says, come. We want to grow wider this is the call to inclusivity. The today's Apex Ministries will strengthen and stretch us and our, in our boundaries beyond the walls of the churches, but that we become a welcoming place for all. We want to grow ever younger. This may immediately strike you as odd, since we do not grow younger, of course, but we grow older. But Jesus says, Behold, I make all things new, ever fresh, ever new, always young, growing deeper, growing wider, growing younger, focusing on the ministry of young people, by young people, to young people, focusing on our ministry in church growth, church planting, and the extension of the presence of God and then also to apply our minds to church and society, to development of our society, social development. These are our priorities. Hello, my name is the Reverend Claire Todd and I am the Rector of the Church of the Annunciation here in Pal. Who are we? Well, we are an Anglican church and an Anglican diocese which is part of the global Anglican communion and which is becoming ever increasingly diverse in terms of its membership including socio-economic and geographical aspects. So the question what are we doing? Well, much groundwork has already been accomplished which is witnessed by the variety of staff and clergy in the Diocese of Saldana Bay. It is a diocese which is moving towards a greater mix and balance of female and male clergy in each archdeaconry, along with clergy from a wide range of backgrounds, nations and cultures, thus reflecting a true Christ-like approach to our Christian witness and worship. Where are we heading? Well, in the short term, education is the key. 
teaching our congregations about equality in all of its variations, particularly our young people, because it is the church's responsibility to be the voice of justice, to send out that clarion call, Jesus is for everyone. In the long term, to be a church which truly reflects our hopes and dreams of inclusivity and diversity, learning about and celebrating difference in unity, positive discussions which result in these changes becoming the norm. And what about our dreams? We are bearing our ancient name, people of the way. We walk through the 800 kilometres in which we live united and aware of our neighbours who may live in miles away from us. We are young, not only in mind and spirit, but young in demographics. And so we are a church in which the youth kick off their shoes and feel at home where they are both seen and heard in our sanctuaries and in our leadership, where they are led and taught and encouraged to take time and lead in colours and sounds, particularly to our own. Thank you.